Hey guys, a lot of you uh, have been wondering what we keep in our vests here. And, um, first of all, I guess I use a strap vest. I bought this Orvis vest online. I looked really hard at the uh, final rise. That was one that was really on my radar, but um, well, they're, they're not cheap. I mean, none of them are cheap, I guess, but and I'm sure it's great quality and I'd love to have one. But um, and I, I mean, I came very close to getting one, but in the end of the day, I'm a guy, a man of, uh, you know, average means, so I decided to go with the Orvis. I got that for 179 I think, on sale, is what it was. Time I got it here, that was U.S., time I got it here in Canada, um, you know, I was looking at close to 350 probably, but with, uh, you know, duty and stuff like that. So, you know, it was enough. But, that being said, um, I chose the Orvis over, I looked at a lot of vests. Final Rise had everything that I wanted and um but like i say price is a little bit on the higher side and i wasn't sure i wanted to spend that much so i uh, opted for the orvis on a more economic side of things and uh, it had pretty much everything i wanted anyway you know i don't go on you know two day hikes or anything or you know the odd time we might go a couple hours but i do a lot of short hunts where i where i live it's mostly um you know farm country and that kind of thing so we'll do a line fence or we'll do a little patch of woods and we'll go go to a different spot so i'm always coming back to the truck anyway so it's not like i have to pack for you know for a two-day hike you know what i'm saying so in that respect i really felt like i didn't have to spend the extra money for the final rice i guess um you know it'd be nice but um it's not really a luxury i thought i needed so anyway um i do you know i've used this for a year now the Orvis vest and um like i say it was a good price and i had everything i wanted as far as features go i have i carry two water bottles for the dogs or one for myself one for the dogs just to bang you know usually i don't carry any for myself honestly i just kind of keep it for the dogs just because like i say i keep my bottle in the, in the truck but i could i guess if i want to um it's got a good game bag for the for the birds it's waterproof it's got a couple holes in the bottom to leak any blood out if you know if you end up having something that was bleeding I guess or if it rains um, it's um, got two pouches on each side I have a carabiner I hooked on I use that for um, hooking my uh, dog my uh, right on my chest like I have a strap that goes across here and I put that up there so I hook my uh, my remote for my dog uh, stimulator and um, like I say, you got different adjustments on this, so you can put it tighter or looser or whatever. See, um, same with your straps. Yeah, you can go change your straps, your heights of your strap and stuff. And um, I'm not a. I, the reviews online were saying, "Boys, I'm not a big person," and you know it was too big for me and so on. Well, I'm not a big person either. I weigh 150 pounds. I'm five seven, and it's. I mean, and you know, like I'm at some of them. I'm at. I got her cinched in pretty much to the max, but it fits me perfectly as far as, you know, so you carry your, your weight on your on your hips as opposed to on your back. And uh, so I can't say the size was an issue at all. Uh, it's got a good comfort pad on the back here. So like I say, comfort wise, A1, I carry a lot of weight in this sometimes. And um, I really had no issue with it seeming heavy. Um, these here are bullet holders, or, you know, you got your bullet. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can actually get this elastic for your bullets in. I don't use them, I just throw things in loose. Um, but then you also got a zipper, put your phone in, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Your car keys, and if you don't want to put them in your pocket or your pants, you can carry your, you can put that in there for quick access if you want. But, you know, I, I don't know, I always just velcroed it down. You know, I shoot a bird, I just pick it up, grab my shell, close it, I guess, just, you know. I don't know if you'd lose it if you bent down and go underneath sticks or what if you had the other way but i guess some people do it that way but i never did um the other side bullet holder again same thing plastics they got little holes in the bottom you'll probably see it better from this angle so it drains out your water you got a zipper i guess i did keep a few uh waterfowl shells in that 12 gauge and 20 gauge just in, clay, in case I, uh, you know, want to jump shoot a pond or something, because I do a lot of waterfowl as well, but, I mean, you could put anything in there, right? So it's just one more place, one more storage. So, I mean, already, 
you've got quite a few storage spots already. We haven't even gone to the real pack yet. So, I guess your, your pack here it goes. Inside I got a dog bowl. Don't want a carabiner, I, mean, I, I keep it in here, but um, I don't put a lot in that pouch mainly because I've kind of maxed out my space in this pouch. Um, I mean, you could put more in here, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute why I don't. Um, so I got a this one has a zipper, and in that, got dog first aid kit. I guess it's also I, I don't carry a first aid kit for myself. Um, I do in my hunting bag, like if I go, you know, in my backpack. But I just kind of figured the first aid kit for the pet, it's got everything for a person as well. So, I mean, it's, it's a pet one, but I guess if I need it, I'll use it, right? Um, I carry this, which is just a, um, you know, just carry, hook your birds to if you want to take cool pictures or something like that. You know, you can put six birds on it. Um, I don't know if I'd really need it, but on the other hand, it also gives me more rope, right? And uh, I keep a life straw in there. That's in case I get lost. Should have a compass in there. I don't, but I should. I guess I just. <laughs> I'm always in service, so I use my phone. But yeah, I, I should definitely have a compass. Maybe I'll throw one in. Um, I got a dog leash for the dog, but also in case you uh, your dog gets caught in a conner bear trap, if you have to uh, untie him. You know, that's kind of a dual purpose deal. So if there's something that you uh, don't know how to do, you probably should look it up. Um, I carry flint with a couple cotton balls to start fires if I need to make a fire for some reason. I don't carry a lighter. Flint, flint works just as good if you got cotton balls. You can start a fire like nothing. And I mean, if it rains or gets wet, doesn't matter, right? You can still, still start a fire. I've got another piece of leather rope. I've got a bar in case I get hungry, I guess. And I carry a leather man. Which, I mean, you pretty much got everything on this thing, right? That you could ever imagine. So, I mean, you got your pliers, you got cutters, you got knife, you got screwdrivers. I'm not going to open it all up, you know what they are. But, um, anyway, so I, I, I carry that in there. Generally don't need to use it, but if you do, it's there. Um, that's pretty much it really. Um, it does have a little little hook there, I guess, if you wanted to hook something and just kind of, I guess, I must be for safety. I don't know, you can use your imagination what you want to use it, but yeah, that's pretty much all I carry. Um, I am going to invest this year in a pair of pliers for uh, in case your dog gets caught in a snare, like those little, you know, the pliers with the small end on it, just cut, it's made for cutting uh, that kind of wire. I am going to carry that next year as something I'm going to invest in for this year, but Aside from that, I mean, really, for what I do, that's really all I need to carry. Um, there's one disadvantage to this vest. I mean, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so, you know, if I'm going to be honest about it, I like this vest a lot. I love it, actually, and I don't regret one bit getting it, feathers from this year. Um, but the one problem I have is when this pouch is full, a lot of times the boys will be like, oh, your, your, your pouch is open. And what happens is all they have here, these little Velcros. And you got when you got the weight of the all that weight on the back, you know, and that's pushing out on it like this, you know, that has a tendency to unhook on you. So a lot of times my vest, I'll be going like that, you know. I mean, nothing can fall out because it's in the zipper. And this here bowl is got enough pressure on it, it ain't coming out anyway. But if you were to have a lot in this pouch, you know, especially important things, I probably wouldn't be too feel too good about it, you know. So that's the only disadvantage to this vest. They should have had something like snaps or something instead of this, you know, Velcro. Um, but like I say, economically, you know, of all the vests out there, you know, there's a lot of vests that don't have that many compartments, you know, and you're still paying close to $500, you know, time you get it home and stuff. And um, I don't know, for what I paid for it and... I really see no disadvantage really except for that you know that's the only thing that i would kind of like them to change but aside from that it's everything fits good it's comfortable it's got a lot of pockets a lot of room like i say i don't even i use one pouch for full shells and the other one i'll throw my empties in but i mean i could definitely put more in those pouches and carry more if i wanted to and it wouldn't be an issue so anyway that's uh, that's what i carry let me know what you carry that i don't have and i should have Thanks, guys.